Open Bionics creates open source 3D prosthetics activated by internal strings. The devices are simple, but the complexity is in how it's controlled. Using myoelectric sensors, the prosthetics use forearm muscles to open, close, and grip like a living hand. Designed to be compatible for all ages, Open Bionics prosthetics are an exact match to the wearer's other hand, but can be customized in a variety of colors and patterns. This is kind of innovative because you've reduced the cost of what prosthetics normally cost people, right, by 3D printing them. Yeah, these kind of advanced robotic prosthetics um, at the moment cost somewhere between fifty dollars and $100,000. And by using 3D printing, we're able to do single finger articulation. Um, so the same kind of level of functionality as the advanced ones, but for around $3,000. Much, much less. So now, are you working with hospitals, insurance companies? Can anyone just 3D print their hand? How, how does it work? So the designs are open source. Um, so that means that people can download them and print their own hands if they want to. Um, we're also operating as a business, so we're, we're not expecting amputees to print their own hands and make them. We're, ex we, we're expecting and would prefer them to come to us and, and have something that's um, created by us and quality assured and so on. Um, but for the kind of maker community, it's a really cool way to try and advance the technology because those are the people that really want to print stuff and make stuff themselves and the kind of people that are going to come up with new, new ideas and take it in new directions that we might not have thought of. We talked a little bit about using a cell phone or a device. What other types of things can these uh, prosthetic hands do? Yeah, so we can do fine grip patterns like a, a pinch grip and very gentle or quite firm as well. Um, so they can pick up all sorts of different objects. The kind of things that amputees request are like holding a, a pint of beer, um, tying their shoelaces, uh, being able to hold like a cup of coffee. In... Can it really tie, you can tie your shoelaces with this, is that intricate? Oh, we haven't got that far yet. But you're working on that, you're working <laughs> We're on working that. We're working on that, yeah. Okay. So we, we can pinch things, um, so we've, we've picked stuff up off the desk. We haven't been able to field test with amputees yet, so we've done some kind of prelim preliminary testing with them wearing it and using it and had some really good feedback. Um, the next step for us is to get them testing it day to day and that's where we're going to find out exactly what the hand can and can't do and where, where to improve it so that we can make it do everything they need it to. Yeah, and you're only a year old, you're in the accelerator right now, so you have a lot ahead of you and it looks like you've already gone pretty far. Yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with our progress so far. So we, we've had really good feedback from people that have tried the device. Um, the accelerator is going to help, help us push that even further. Um, so we're looking to uh, field test with amputees, get even more feedback, improve the device further and work out our business of exactly how we're going to reach the customers.